get a recipe for an easy chocolate cake and you will learn some cooking idioms with me it's an easy recipe and baking this cake would be a cake walk for all of us this first don an apron and let's get start already made a mess and i'm such a klutz let me just clear things up it seems like i have run out of baking soda so we will now bake this cake for your mother from scratch this mother's day and show her your immense love Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Now this Mother's Day I was wondering what to do for my mother and I thought of baking a cake for her. A chocolate cake is her biggest dream. Now come into the video with me. You will get a recipe for an easy chocolate cake and you will learn some cooking idioms with me. It's an easy recipe and baking this cake would be a cake walk for all of us. Now let's make it in a jiffy. Now I don't have a recipe book and I'm just going to wing it. So let me just first don an apron. and let's get started now i have preheated the oven let's get into making the batter keep a sieve on the mixing bowl and put 1 and 1/2 cup of all purpose flour now over this i'm going to add 1/4 cup of cocoa powder now i've already made a mess and i'm such a klutz let me just clear things up a bit now over this i'm going to add in just a dash of salt Now add in a cup of sugar to make the cake as sweet as you want. Now it seems like I have run out of baking soda, so we will just add in a pinch of baking powder. Now I am going to fluff it up with a fork and sieve the mixture into the bowl. Now a fun fact about this recipe this particular chocolate cake recipe is also known as war cake or depression cake go and look it up on google and leave your comments below educating others on the same now that the dry mixture is sorted we'll move on and incorporate the liquid mixture now let's douse a cup of water into the mixture now give a nice whisk this is known as a whisk give a nice whisk to your mixture so that there are no lumps formed This mixture is turning rock hard. Now let's incorporate one third cup of oil. It's turning all gooey and mushy. Now next step is to add in a dash of vanilla extract and some acidic vinegar. Now all you have to do is just whisk and whisk it for a good five minutes. till the bubbles start forming on the surface now this is how the mixture should look like and now we'll start pouring it in the mold and we'll try to set it now this is a silicone mold we'll first grease it properly or we can use some parchment paper now we'll pour in the mixture into the mold scrap out every last bit of it now let's put it into the oven for about 30 to 35 minutes and view the magic and fold now i have set the timer at 30 minutes times are ticking let's wait now i'm going to add in a dollop of chocolate frosting and i'm going to evenly spread it over the cake now let it rest for about 8 to 10 minutes let it cool down and then we will start garnishing it now i'm going to decorate it with some sprinkles and put it in the fridge to cool down my mother loves sprinkles Now this is how my cake looks like after it has been cooled down for about 8 to 10 minutes. Now I can't wait for my mother to enjoy it. Now I've got my mother with me enjoying this scrumptious cake. Now bake this cake for your mother from scratch this mother's day and show her your immense love. Mm -hmm.